Setting the baseline and mapping your assets and performance has a lot of benefit. If you imagine you're a ship and you're heading off out to sea and you've got the compass pointed and you know where it's going, unless you know where you've started from, you're not going to know your exact position. So setting a baseline is critical. So you've identified the drivers of change and now, once you've identified and mapped those, you can go, okay, now where are we relative to those? And this becomes a very, very valuable exercise in identifying where what adds value, in other words, what's good, or what, what harms. So if you're using a lot of toxic chemical and you don't particularly know where it goes, it needs to be considered harmful. If you are using toxic chemical and it's recycled in a tight technical cycle and you do know what's happening to it, then that's a neutral benefit. But even better, if you're progressing away from that chemical into using a replacement that you know actually adds value and does good through um, restoring an ecosystem while it's produced, for example, which some chemicals are doing now, some extractive um, products, then that adds a lot of value. So let's map that, and that's, that's called the baseline.